soiled linen. What will I do? How does one do their laundry when they're staying or living in a camper or an RV? Follow me on this adventure and let's find out. All right, excuse the camera. I'm using my cell phone and the front facing doesn't work, so I'm just pointing and hoping for the best. So here we are, we're gonna go on our adventure to figure out how I'm gonna do my laundry uh, when I live in a camper. What, whatever will I do? Well, first thing is I'm gonna start the engine. That's right, I'm gonna put on my seatbelt. I'm gonna drive around and see if I can figure out. We'll be in touch, hang on. So I heard a rumor once, a long time ago, not everybody had laundry in their houses. And I think it still goes today that not everybody has laundry facilities in their houses. But I'm not sure, because everybody seems concerned. My friend Justin Incredible on his channel, he gets asked this an awful lot. I've been asked personally, not on my channel, but by private messages. You know, you stay in your, t your camper an awful lot. What do you do when your clothes get dirty? Well, here we are. I've stayed uh, an extra week here in Vancouver because I live over on the Sunshine Coast. And, um, well, I've accumulated, you know, a lot of clothing. I've got my regular clothes and my uniform clothes. So before my regular rotation starts, i got to get that shit clean. So we'll see if the legends are true and if, they're, if they are, if there is actually places that you can get clothes clean at. Um, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I know long, long ago when I was a kid, I remember going to a place, but we'll see if they still exist. Stand by for the next uh, part of the adventure. All right, here we go. Wandering down the streets, in the park a bit of a distance. I think I saw something up here. We'll just uh, point the camera forward so you can see. Glorious Vancouver on a rainy day, Friday the 13th. Parking is always at a premium here. Even if you're not driving something a little bigger than the average small compact car. So, let's see where we go with this. Go. Oh, holy shit, look at this. What does it say? It says coin laundry. Drop off service. Let's go and see if they do laundry. Magic is stuff that clothes are clean, now they can be dried. And they even had a machine called a dryer in there. So I put it in there. So in the meantime, heading across the street. It's gonna take a little bit. And uh, we'll go to the Starbucks. Watch your Now, success, coffee in hand. One of those infamous red cups. We'll head back across the street here. My mocha in hand. Back to the... Uh, Great West Coin Laundry. Rude inside, but hey, it's getting the job done. Well, how do you believe that? We got a hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes in that wonderful place called the Laundromat. Well, not so wonderful. 
boring until the weird people caught. But the interesting thing is, like, it answers the question. Where do you get your laundry done when you're not at a house? There you go. And I, I found that these places are littered all over the city. And even in small towns, they pop up. So, uh, I think that solves the mystery of where the heck you get your clothes clean and how you do it. And to add that, I had a damn good cup of coffee on while I was waiting. So that's it for today. Sign out from Wild Medic and Camper.